This video explains how to properly use our glue and car dump starters in two situations of drained car battery. 1. When the battery is partially drained. 2. When the battery is totally drained. Situation 1. Partially drained. Bring out this Gulen GL19 car jump starter. Before you press the power button to display its percent state of charge, please take note that the first time this button is pressed after being stored for a prolonged period of time, the power bank will display its sleeping state of charge. In this case, it is now at 100%. This is how it remembers its last state of charge before it was stored, and is not its current or actual state of charge. To get its actual state of charge, we must wait for the LED indicator to turn off after about 30 seconds, then press the power button the second time, like this. Now it displays 84%. This is its actual state of charge. You should always get the second display of its state of charge before proceeding with the jump start. If you do so after seeing only the first display of the state of charge without waiting for the second display, and it turns out that the actual state of charge is less than 50%, the power bank may not be able to do its job. What's worse, its internal battery may even be permanently damaged. Now let's proceed with the jump starting. Attach the red clamp to the positive pole of the car battery, then the black clamp to the negative pole. Insert the smart clamp fully into the power bank's body. For a slightly drained car battery which still have residual charge, pressing the smart switch once will turn on the blue light and immediately, the green light will light up by itself. When the green light turns on, the power bank is ready for the jump start. Situation 2. Fully drained. When your car battery is fully drained, pressing the smart switch for about 2 seconds will turn on the blue light. The green light won't turn on by itself since there is no more residual charge left in the car battery. You have to manually switch the smart clamp on by pressing and holding the smart switch a second time for about 5 seconds or until the green light turns on. Now that the green light is on, you can now proceed with the jump start. Now start your engine! 